Hey folks, my name's Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwei. I got some unexpected news this morning. No, that's not right. I heard some unexpected news this morning and my heart is just filled. I am so happy and I am so encouraged and I am so hopeful that what has transpired is something that we can use going forward into the future. See, this past week, some indigenous uh, leaders and some indigenous people from Canada traveled to Rome, traveled to the Vatican. And over the course of the week, they had an opportunity to sit down with Pope Francis. And, uh, and they got to share their stories. Today, he apologized. Yeah, he apologized to them on behalf of the church, on behalf of Roman Catholics. He said, uh, he, it says, the, the article, and I'll include this article, Pope Francis spoke of feeling sorrow and shame for the conduct of those who ran the schools. I also feel shame, he said, sorrow and shame for the role that, the, that a number of Catholics, particularly those with educational responsibilities, have had in these things that wounded you, in the abuses you suffered, and the lack of respect shown for your identity, your culture, and even your spiritual values. For the deplorable conduct of these members of the, of the Catholic Church, I ask for God's forgiveness, and I want to say to you with all my heart, I am very sorry. And I join my brothers, the Canadian bishops, in asking your pardon. It's amazing. Now, I'm not a Roman Catholic, but I'm so thrilled with this. I, I, I'm not indigenous. I am a non-indigenous person here in Canada, and I am thrilled by this. Not because this apology speaks to suffering or injury that I or my family may have suffered because I'm really hopeful that this is the beginning of a, of a new way for us. You know, it's, it's, it's another step in the right direction in how we relate to one another, how we treat one another. The thing about this apology that I really wanted to focus on today, again, it's just gorgeous. He says, I feel shame and sorrow for the abuses you suffered and for the lack of respect shown for your identity, your culture, and even your spiritual values. We know, I think we know, I hope we know, to never go down the road of the residential schools again, to never go down that road of, of systemic genocide, where we want to rid ourselves of the Indian problem by literally teaching it out of them, by, by removing the Indian from the child. But I don't know that we are completely safe from ever going down the road. As a matter of fact, I know that we're not safe from going down the road of treating our indigenous people brothers and sisters, disrespectfully. I know we are not safe because we, we do it. We do it all the time. We do it especially for our commercial, our, our industrial, our economic desires. We disrespect their identity. We disrespect their values. We disrespect their faith. We disrespect their rights. We disrespect their, their nations, their borders, their sovereignty. And so when I heard Pope Francis' apologies and as I read it and as I, I wept over it, I really hope we can understand that 
One of the reasons why Pope Francis for the Roman Catholic Church is apologizing is the same reason why the Anglican Church and our bishops have apologized. It's the same reason why, why Canada as a nation has apologized. It's the same reason why the United Church of Canada has apologized. It's because we recognize that we did something horrific. And part of what we did was we failed to show the indigenous peoples the respect that they deserved. We failed to recognize them for who they are. We failed to recognize their lands. We failed to recognize their sovereignty. We failed to recognize their rights. We failed to recognize their humanity. We know what we did in the past was wrong. We don't want to go down that road again. So let's remember. Let's remember that our mission going forward, our call going forward, which was the same call as it's been for 2,000 years, is to respect humanity, to respect their dignity. Let's never forget that even though we may not be launching a physical abuse, even though we may not be kidnapping children, even though we may not be trying to train out, trying to educate out their, their culture, even though we may not be trying to commit a, a systemic genocide, it still is so incredibly important for us to ensure that we are walking a path where we are showing our Indigenous brothers and sisters, where we are showing all people the respect that they deserve, that we are recognizing in them the humanity that we hope that they recognize in us, that we recognize in them the Christ that we are supposed to be seeing in all of God's creation. This is a good day. I hope this is the first day. I hope this is a first step along a much more fruitful and abundant path when it comes to our, when it comes to our relationships here in Canada and hopefully all around the world. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that all of us, I pray that all of us will look at one another the way we want to be looked at, that we will treat one another the way we want to be treated, that we will see in one another the humanity that we hope others see in us, that we will see the Christ in everyone, in everything. And we will live this life respecting every single person we come in contact with, every single culture we come in contact with. Dear Lord, let it be so. Amen. Nivoltus.